So, what do you do? What do I do? My name is Scott and I own a male strip club. <laughs> Hi guys. So uh, we have a really big live show coming up, so we want to do something really memorable and incredible. You want to, you want to get some pussies wet, I think. Exactly, That's what, exactly I was what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can help you with that if you're if you're willing to commit to it. Six, seven, eight. Boom! Smack, 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 smack. When women go out to a male strip show, they're very open with each other about their fantasies. Do you think four dicks were just in her face? No way. They, they expect to be entertained, so you have to do a lot more than just take off your clothes. It's yourself. more like theater. Exactly. Yeah. The girls don't really appreciate that as much as they do the entire performance. Really portraying a character from A to Z with visuals and costumes and the, and the theme and the look. Hollywood Man is a collection of the most popular female sexual fantasies brought to life on stage. We have a group number mm -hmm. that you'll be teaching us choreography to. Mm -hmm. How many weeks do you have to prepare? Nine. <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> okay, we better get started. Slowly rolling that body, rolling that body into your crotch. Can you show me that one again? How do you do it? It's just uh, body body roll, jump. It's not. You can't just say just body work. I need more than that. As long as you don't mind me being brutally honest, I'm oh. not gonna waste your time. Don't waste mine. I don't yeah. promise that we won't waste a little bit of your time. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be under the mat, so I won't be. I can do like. I'm a horse, yeah, yes. Yeah. The most important thing would be stage presence. If you can smile on stage and carry a crowd without necessarily having to do it with your body. It, it's tough to get out of your head and forget your choreography and just have the eye contact with the crowd and have that stage presence. Do we need names, like stripper names? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, are there stripper names? Hammer's is pretty classic. These are ladies, they loosen them up, get them to laugh. I'm a bachelorette, I'm about to get wed. You're like being sexy and then all of a sudden you're like, Oh my goodness, my friend. You know I'm saying you're, you downplay the sexiness. Oh, okay, so you almost get sexy, but then not This quite. is downplaying right. sexiness? Oh. Oh. So yeah. he's like a coy little mix. I'm just like yeah. a, yeah. I'm, I'm Willy Wonka. Anything that's, that's not what you expect, that's what I try to put on stage. Ripping off pants is hard. What's harder than that? Ripping off a straight jacket. Nasty Ned. I went to a mental institution because I just had boners all the time. <laughs> the Velcro goes down the sides. It's like when you're about to rip a woman's panties off. I'm dialed in. I want you so bad, I can't be constrained by pants! Oh. Like I said, get the momentum. <laughs> so how do I make that sexy? Zesty Zach. Zesty Zach. You have like a lemon rind on your body or what? <laughs> I am a defender of the universe. Oh, it's a superhero. Star Wars. I have a lightsaber. Oh, dude, when you got yeah. the button to come on, you got to go zzz. Yeah. You could just hold it here and just look at the girls with your eyebrows up, and they get the point. We use a lot of audience members in the routine. Grab a girl out of the audience, lay her down. And then for the great finale. She strokes your lightsaber. <laughs> When women get in this environment, it, it's so electric. It's like we're a catalyst in a test tube of women. You come backstage with scratches down your back. and I've given lap dances drunk. <laughs> you gotta use a girl that's gonna do what you want <laughs> and not do what you don't want. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Great. I've never had someone tell me like, this is a great lap dance move. I'm a dagger. Yeah. Yes, okay. It's coming at me. Yeah. The hiring standards are very strict, I'll put it that way. All right, let's see what you guys can do without us. Let's see if you're ready. And remember, be sexy. be sexy. Be sexy. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you all for coming doing? out tonight. Welcome to BuzzFeed Live. Uh, we, we said things were going to get weird, and they're about to get a lot weirder. So this is it. We're here. It's the night of the live show. Apparently, there is a line around the block. I'm so nervous! But yeah, I'm terrified. It's really uncomfortable putting yourself out there like this. We've never performed anything like this in front of strangers. I, uh, I just did the tech run through. A lot of stuff went wrong. When I did the rehearsal, the pants didn't fully rip off. I focused so much on choreography that when I forgot something, I just got mad and I stopped. You know what, though? I feel good. I have a lot of nervous energy right now. So I should just relax. Hump some girl face. And I get to do it with, you know, the rest of the Try Guys, and we all are bringing a different thing to the table. I'm just gonna go out there and feed off that energy of the crowd. All right, Keith, you ready to horse up? Hopefully, we'll make the Hollywood men proud. First feeds Fab Four of Phallic Filth, the Try Guys. Deafening. You could barely hear the music you were dancing to. For me, it was crazy because I didn't see the audience until I took my horse mask off. And by then, there was just 
There was just a sea of cell phone cameras. It was like I was like Miley Cyrus. I stuck my thong in Sweet and Low and just showered it all over the audience. The Sweet and Low was flying. People were screaming. I thrust him in my dick. That way and that way. This is the greatest day of my life. The crowd was so energetic, they were so into it, and I just fed off of that and like unleashed my inner freak show. It was amazing. I teased them slowly, and then... One move that mattered to me, I nailed. And that was the greatest feeling in the world. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, that was the most fun I've ever had. I just felt totally in control. The thrill of ripping your underwear off in front of over 100 people. Oh my God, it's the biggest thrill I've ever had in my life. I do wish you had chosen someone other than my girlfriend to dance on. <laughs> she had a great time. She was showering money on you. <sighs> Once I got out of my own head and got more into my pelvis, things worked beautifully. You know what, it all just washed away. I just performed and I connected with the audience and I lap danced the shit out of Ned's wife. <laughs> the pinnacle of rude things you can do to a person. I gave her a good lap dance though. I wanna do it again. I would do this all the time. I think the key to life now is you just gotta strip sometimes. That's the secret. You just take off all your clothes, everybody loves you. But it's more about putting on a great show and we put on a pretty good show. Give it up for the Try Guys, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Honestly, we're just the luckiest guys in the world that we get to get naked in front of complete strangers and they scream, but in a good way.